Boom. All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Sminify Podcast. Today, I think we're on episode number 18, I believe. I wouldn't know because it's literally been so many months since we've done one of these, but I believe it's episode 18. So how are y'all doing? Welcome back to the show. This is probably a surprise drop as it's currently like a Monday night. I'm going to be honest with you guys. You guys probably think this is recorded on like Sunday since it's coming out on Monday. It's literally 7.44 p.m. on Monday for me right now. And I'm gonna. my plans are to get this thing recorded and get this out tonight as a piece of content for Monday. Because for this week, I'm going to try to get the podcast on Monday. Minecraft tutorial on Tuesday. I don't know if these are the type, like the hype content, you guys. Like, I don't know if people like the, the podcast anymore, but I feel like back in the day it was a thing that people kind of liked a little bit and enjoyed. So I don't know. But the way I think of it, out of all the content I make, if you think about it like, give me a sec here. If you think about it like Minecraft tutorial videos, live streams, like funny moments videos. I know what you guys are going to say. The funny moments videos aren't even made anymore. I know I'm working on one right now. It'll be out by the end of the week. I know for sure. Before the end of the week. Out of all those pieces of content, the podcast is the one that's going to stay the most relevant to me. I don't know if I'd say that. The, the most relevant, it's going to benefit me the most as an individual out of all those pieces of content. Like the other ones might bring people to the channel. It might help the channel like take off. Like literally in the last week, I've had a Minecraft tutorial video hit like 23,000, 24,000 views. Honestly, it's crazy because it's going up like every hour a lot. And that's really awesome to see. But that doesn't beat a nice, well thought out podcast, which a nice, well thought, well thought out podcast is absolutely not what we have right now. As, as I said, I'm literally procrastinating. It's 8 p.m. on Monday. I'm going to get this out tonight. I have no notes, so I'm just going to go off the top of my head. Whatever I come up with is what I'm going to say. And who knows? Maybe that's maybe that's when people are in their best, when, the, when, they, when they're not scripted, when everything's impromptu, as I think the speech kids will call it. I think that's what, I think that's what you call it. But maybe that... Okay, the one thing I want to do is I want to... I think everyone just wants to be special and have that one time where they just instinctually say like a, like a, a quote that just sounds great. You know, like something like... Obviously, Martin Luther, he's got his I Have a Dream. Like, just a quote that's going to stick with people for a long time. I'm hoping someday during, like, a podcast or something, I just say something that sounds smart, and maybe people will quote it, and then I'll have a quote forever. That would honestly be awesome. I think that's... Is that, is that on my bucket list? That's on my bucket list. To have a nice quote that makes sense that's original. Which, then again, is any thought original? I literally... I was scrolling TikTok, all right? I'm still a avid TikToker, which is... We could get into later, as I kind of want to cut down on the time that I'm actually spent scrolling TikTok. But we can get into that in a second. But basically, I was scrolling TikTok and I saw this one. It was like, when I'm at church, I look up at the light fixtures, wondering who would die if the light fixtures fell fell down on the on the pews, on the people down below. Like, there's always like these hanging light fixtures, and I've it's just a thought that everyone's had. I know a lot of people who watch this aren't religious, but I have I do go to church pretty often, and like it's a thought that every religious person has apparently had is they look up at the lights. Who's that gonna fall on and kill if it falls? Like that's something that only I thought I'd ever thought. Until I go into TikTok and then I see that. So it turns out, does anyone ever have an original thought? Who knows? Probably not. If you think about like the billions of people who have lived before me, I don't know if that's fact. I'm just coming up with that. There's probably a good chance that I've never had an original thought. I'm probably not even an original person. There's probably somebody who's already lived who does the exact same things that I do, who looks just like me, but I'll never know, honestly. So that's crazy. But that that's one thing I had. But yeah, we're back in the podcast. This is just going to be... This is going to be interesting because when once you get out of rhythm, the thing is, once you... Once you stop doing something, you get bad at it so quick. A couple examples. This podcast. This is probably not going to be good as I'm not prepared with no notes. I haven't done a podcast in like two months, I think, at this point. So doing this feels kind of foreign to me. I haven't done it in a long time. So we're going to see how it goes. But you have to start somewhere. You have to come back somewhere. And am I like confident enough to say that this is going to be a weekly thing? I, I literally am not confident enough to say that. Because the thing is, I just get so overwhelmed every time I have to record one of these. It's... It's just the thought of talking for an hour. I've said this like a million times, but like, I don't even, at the end of the day, I don't even really feel like I need to entertain people with the podcast because as long as I get one out, if, if anyone wants to listen and take something away from it, that's epic. But at the end of the day, it's for me. I can come back. I can listen to it, see what I'm going on to. Like right now, we're currently my basketball team, right? The reason that I've been saving these podcasts, putting them off until like Mondays now is because I have basketball games on Saturdays. We'll just go over the old schedule. Basically, the old schedule was... On Saturdays, we'd have Smittycraft. On Sundays, we'd have a podcast. What that meant is basically, because I'm a bad procrastinator, every Saturday I would record a podcast and then upload it on that Sunday. And uh, since I have basketball games basically every single Saturday now, I've had to move everything back. So Smittycraft is now on Sunday. Podcasts are on Monday. And I guess nothing is on Saturday because I'm usually just playing basketball. Honestly, nothing is on quite a few days. I'm trying to... I wish I could get back to that time where I could literally upload every single day. But that was obviously during like during the when COVID was like the huge new thing and like we were everyone was literally in lockdown I had all the time in the world I was literally uh, going to school from 
from home, which a lot of you guys are still going. Props to anyone who's still doing online school. I literally don't know how you guys can do that. I would be going absolutely insane, especially since it's my senior year. If I had to do it all online, I would be going insane. My mental health would be terrible. But props to everyone who's still going through it and just surviving, pushing their way through this year of school. It's probably terrible. I've, okay, I was literally talking to people from the UK who said they get fined thousands of dollars for like going outside or something if it's not essential. I've been talking to people who say that they've, they've just been in school this entire year and it's just it's really just taking a big toll on their mental health. So it obviously sucks and uh, I should just be fortunate for what I have because I can absolutely, I go to school every single day in person without a mask and it's just, it's nice. It's good stuff. But I guess for some people, I've also heard in the Discord, they're okay with online school because here's the deal. We're all Discord admins. We're all Discord mods. We're all introverts. And for a lot of people, they're like, oh, I like the lockdowns because, you know, I don't have to interact with people, you know, something that we're not very good at. But even for me, the lockdowns got to be way too much. Like even like I heard where, oh man, I remember over the intercom, the superintendent's like, all right, everything's canceled guys after school today. It was on Friday, the 13th of March, which is coming back up here, guys. It's it's February 1st already, which there's a big important date coming up here regarding the channel that I'll get in, get into in a second here. But I remember the superintendent was like, all right, all the sports are canceled. And everyone thought it was going to be like two weeks off school. No one knew what to expect. And now here we are almost a year later and people are still at home and it's crazy. And dang, props to, props to those people. I couldn't do it. I absolutely could not do it. I'd be going insane right now if I didn't have basketball, if I weren't able to see my friends, school, like... That's got to be terrible. That's actually got to be terrible. So you got to be fortunate for what you have. But nevertheless, getting back into the rhythm of things. So when I started my channel, which by the way, we're going to get into that. When I started my channel, when I came back to my channel, I literally uploaded every single day, which looking back on that is insane because I remember I was, I think I was on like an 87 day streak or something. I'm making a video every single day, which is incredible because if you think about that now, it's literally just a running meme on the discord and stuff. Oh, Smitty making a video. That never happens anymore, which is honestly kind of true at this point because if you look at like the last like month, it's all live streams basically, maybe like two or three videos. And there's not a whole lot of content there, which is why I'm trying to be realistic with myself and set like a one well-edited video expectation a week towards the end of the week. Uh, I have not I have a video recorded right now that I'm going to try to get up. It's going to be up by the end of this week. I can definitely do that. But for me, it's literally just... Like, I can do the live streams every Wednesday and Sunday. I can do those easily because those are only take two hours of my day. It's fun to interact with you guys and talk with you guys. But the well-edited videos, those are the videos that, like, they're probably not going to bring new people to the channel. They're going to take hours upon hours of editing, which some of you guys in the Discord server say editing is your favorite part of videos. Good for you. Good for you because I'm literally the exact opposite. If, if editing was my favorite part of making a video, my life would just be absolutely complete. I would know what I want to do with my life. I want to spend my entire life making editing videos. But it's literally the exact opposite. Editing is like just the down point of the day. Like sometimes it's fun, but literally most of the time it's just painful, slow work. And it's just like hours for just minutes of footage. Which, of course, at the end of the day, you guys like, it's going to get a lot of watch time, which is epic. And I think for the most part, people enjoy the videos, which is gives me a big like feeling of satisfaction and of accomplishment when people uh, look at the look at the piece of work and they're like, oh, that was pretty good. I enjoyed that video. That's literally the best feedback ever. But then there's always that chance that people are like, now this video sucked. And then I'm like, well, just put 15 hours into that video for that response, which I guess rarely ever happens, which is a good thing, but it could always happen. But nevertheless, so our expectations for the channel, we want well one well-edited video up a week, one podcast a week, which is that ever going to happen? Who knows? Let's, I'm going to try, but it's just, it's, it's so overwhelming. Uh, two live streams a week. And is that it? That's literally it. And a Minecraft tutorial. See, when I say that, it sounds like a lot because you have to like, remember, got to balance like family time, school, basketball, being a student, all that stuff, which I've basically accepted at this point. I am taking some harder classes this year, but YouTube has definitely, doing YouTube has definitely affected my grades. Like I used to be a much better student. Last semester, I, or I didn't graduate yet. I'm getting there. Last semester, I uh, finished with my worst grades since like freshman year or like eighth grade or seventh grade. Since seventh grade, that's a rip. But uh, it's, it's a small price to pay for honestly building a YouTube channel, which brings me to this. February 12th, I think I looked this up a while back, February 12th, 2020, okay, last year, February 12th, was the day when I came back to my YouTube channel and decided I was going to grind YouTube and make a video every single day, which you guys know, it is now February 1st, 2021, and what this means is we are almost at the one year anniversary, I would call it, of, of coming back to the YouTube channel and grinding and seeing how it goes, and I guess looking at it from a year in the future now where I am right now, that was one of the best decisions I've ever made. Like, it's crazy. 
one point, what are we at? 1.6, I'm just gonna go look. I think we have 1.61K subscribers, which is insane for one year. Yeah, we have 1.61K subs, um, subscribers in one year of work, which is awesome because now I have that set goal and I can see in another year, where will we be? Should I set like goals for another year? I feel like in another year, I wanna be at at least 10K. I feel like we have the potential to get more subs, but for now, I feel like a realistic goal would be 10K by next February, maybe by the end of the year, 10K, and then by next February, like 25K or something. Because the thing is with YouTube growth, it's gonna be exponential. Like in the last week, I uploaded a Minecraft tutorial video. And the thing with Minecraft tutorial videos, they're either hit or miss, you guys probably don't care about them. But the thing is they could probably get into the search algorithms. And I had a Minecraft tutorial video hit the search algorithms and it has like 24,000 views as of right now. And it's growing with like 100 something views every hour, which is insane, honestly, it's crazy. That thing absolutely hit the search terms. And it gets great feedback. It brings new people to the channel. And it took me like probably like two or three hours to make. As opposed to the well-edited videos, which take me like 15 or not, maybe not that, maybe not that long, but like 10, 15 hours. And they're not going to bring anybody to the channel. But making the well-edited videos just, it's it's better for the community. And oh man, when I get into the community, we could talk a lot about the community that we've managed to build here. Because I was talking to another person just a couple days ago on Discord, and I was like, I could not have asked for I said it. All right, anyways, I could not have asked for a better community to start a YouTube channel out with. Like, you guys are absolutely insane. And honestly, when I started this YouTube channel, it was just me pursuing a hobby again. Like, coming back, I've always had this passion to kind of make videos. Like, at school, if, if the teacher hands out a project where you got to make videos, everyone kind of, like, looks at me and they're like, all right, we're getting you in our group. I mean, I'm used to being used, but hey, it's all right. We're like, all right, we're getting in a group with Smitty. He's going to make a nice video. We're getting an A+. Plus. Which is facts. It, it happens. It happens. But yeah, so it's just this little, it's just this little hobby that I've always had. And now it's definitely turned into something, I'm not going to say much bigger, but it's still definitely a hobby. It's not like a business or anything. I hope to someday turn it into kind of a business, but for now it's still definitely a hobby, which is why the content is still kind of live streams because the truth is I'm trying to just enjoy like every moment of my final senior year here. And once I graduate from high school, I feel like I feel like I have a lot more potential to just grind the YouTube channel out, honestly, because then I'll have no basketball or no grades or anything really until I get to college, which we could also talk about to college. I am going to college. Uh, we could talk about that later in this episode too, because why not? Because we're kind of talking about an overview of the last year on the channel, basically, and looking forward. Because the truth is I thought about recording a podcast on like January 1st of this year. But of course I didn't do it because again, it's just it's just something like you gotta be ready to go if you're gonna record one of these. It's not so much about entertaining people. I don't know if I need to entertain people with this. It's just it's just sitting down and you just gotta do it. It's just something you gotta do. Once you start something, it's easier to finish it. Like I've tried to record this episode like four or five times. Like I've started it, I've went like two minutes in and then I've just been like, it doesn't sound good, so I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna restart it. But this one is just, this one kind of just got going, you know? I kind of started saying stuff. Uh, words flow out of my mouth. Again, no script or nothing. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Hopefully something good comes out. Maybe we'll get that good quote. And what well, do you know? You have a Sminify podcast. Not professional at all. But yes. So, February 12th, 2020, all right? Insane times. Because that was when I made one of the better decisions of my life. Better decision of my life. I feel like, I feel like this community, this YouTube channel is one of the better things I've accomplished in life, honestly, which might be kind of cringe, but like, if you think about it, like, what else have I done? I'm literally only like 18, haven't even graduated yet. Like, I'm, I'm a good student, I get a lot of A's, so maybe that's a good accomplishment. And then started a YouTube channel that has kind of reached around the world, honestly, which is insane. And the thing I'm most proud of about this community is that, literally, I feel like this YouTube channel has helped people out. Like, I've got comments before, kind of, that have been like, hey, you've made my day better, you've made, like, my year better. And that's just like the best feeling in the world, absolutely entirely. And that's just the part of YouTube that I didn't know would happen when I started. Because I go back to February, I'm like, okay, so I'm just going to start out making videos. If people comment, I'm going to respond to their comments. And I hope they enjoy the video. But what no one tells you is how involved you get into the community. I don't know if this is every YouTuber, but me personally, I just made the decision. I'm going to get really involved in the community. Because I guess I've always wanted to grow my channel. I'm just like being genuine with you guys. I feel like there's so many toxic fake creators out there. And I just want to be genuine with everybody and like I want to feature people in the content because I think that makes content a lot better. I was also talking with another person. He said like if you feature people in the content, obviously that's going to give people more motivation to watch the video if they might be in it. Which is why a lot of the content that I make is geared towards you guys because it keeps you guys engaged obviously. It's more fun to record videos with you all. And it's kind of just this big this big cycle that we have going back and forth. And it's, it's crazy because again no one 
I never would have expected like the community that we have now. I look at other channels that are, have have like 1.6k subs and maybe they're they got like one viral video or something that gave them all this all their subs and then they keep making videos but they're getting like 50 views a video and like five likes which is something okay here's something that i've always feared all right like people i think giving shout outs to people is nice but i've always had this fear that like a big youtuber gives me a shout out all right like mr beast gave people shout outs in his like year review video or whatever and they gained like a hundred thousand subscribers and like that that'd be crazy like i would be freaking out if overnight i gained a hundred thousand subscribers which I guess if Mr. Beast gives you a shout out is very is a, a very good possibility. Those people probably have like 200k by now. I don't even know. It's insane. But I've always had this fear that like a big YouTuber shouts me out. I get like I'm not saying this will ever happen. I'm just saying it could. I get like 50,000 subs or something. Everyone subscribes just just to see the number rise because at the end of the day we're Gen Z. We just like to do funny things like this for the memes. We like to say, "Oh, that guy gained 50k in one day and I contributed." So there we go. But then once all those people come and subscribe, they're just going to turn the notification bell off. They're not going to come back to the videos. They're not really going to become a part of the community, which, which I don't even know if I really want that. Would I really want like a channel with like 2K getting like 300 views a video and like 60 likes and people commenting or would I want a channel with like 50K, am I doing this right? With 50K getting like a thousand views a video with like 20 likes and like nobody commenting. And honestly... I just love the scenario we're in right now. I literally, it couldn't have went better. It, like, it couldn't have went better at all. We have people from all around the world, all different. We're very, we're a very diverse group of people. I'm just basically referencing our dis, our Discord server when I talk about this, because that's where basically our whole community is. If you haven't joined our Discord server, absolutely. But the, the crazy thing is, we're literally like a huge diverse group of people: political beliefs, religions, race, ethnicity, all that. 2021, all those terms, and like we still manage to get along. At times, we have our disagreements. We have a lot of beef. We have a lot of beef. We used to have like our weekly, our weekly breakdown, our weekly, just something, something going wrong in the Discord server. That doesn't really happen anymore, but that used to happen a lot. It still kind of happens. And we just, we're there for each other, honestly. Like, even though we know this person, this person might have plans to take over the entire world and, you know, kill all my, all the political leaders in the world, but we'll still support him if he, if he needs it, you know? And it's just like, it's just crazy, dude. Like, it's. It's just something rare to see in 2021, you know, people supporting each other. It's not it's not an everyday sight. And honestly, to say that this channel is a place where people do that for each other is crazy. And like I said, honestly, it's kind of becoming less about the videos and more about the community, which like I put more time into Discord on a daily basis than I really do into editing videos, which probably isn't good, but is good at the same time. Because here's the truth. I have this feeling like every single day every other day at least, that the Discord server is just gonna, is just gonna collapse, everyone's just gonna get bored and leave, which I have that feeling like every other day, even though I still feel like we have such a strong community, I have these doubts that that's always a good possibility, because the thing is with the internet, it's very easy to connect with people, but just literally with one click, you're gone, you'll never talk to them again, see ya, goodbye, and I've always had this feeling that that might happen with our community, even though it's like, it's so tight, it's so strong, but still, I feel like, I, st I still fear that, I don't know why, but every now and then I just get those glimpses of people who look like they're getting like bored and stuff. So they just decide to leave. And then I'm like, okay, this could start a chain, chain reaction. Will we be able to recover? Like just last night we had, I think it was last night, we had a very notable member leave just because we were kind of annoying him. Not we. Some people on the server were, I'm not going to say I was involved in that, but he left and he said he was coming back. But then people were like, is this the downfall of the server? And I was like, oh no, this might be a rip. But no, we came back, and I think we're good for tonight. For, so for tonight, I still feel good about the Discord server. Tomorrow night, that might change because it's so up and down. It's just like, I don't know how it's going to go day to day. It's crazy. That's our Discord server. Feel free to join. But, yeah, it's, it's, it's just something else, man. It's literally just something else. And now, looking back on that year, am I, would I make like any different decisions? Would I make any different choices growing my YouTube channel? Like, I don't even know if I could say that, like... My biggest thing when I started my channel was like, I'm just going to do what I want and hopefully people enjoy it. And like the thing with being a YouTuber is you have to kind of do it, obviously what your viewers want to do. Otherwise the videos aren't going to perform very well, which I go back to the Minecraft tutorial videos. That's literally just a hit, hit or miss video because people are either going to be like, yes, I mean, I don't need a Minecraft tutorial video from you. I know how to, I know how to do this tutorial video. I don't need you. Or you have a chance of that hitting the search algorithm and it just blows up. But it's just something that you'll never know the outcome of. And luckily for me, I've managed to kind of incorporate tutorial videos, podcasts, funny moments videos, live streams like well into my YouTube channel. I would say some people might struggle with that. Like they might just become, they might just start doing live streams and then eventually they'll get into like uploading tutorial videos and they're like, their viewers won't be all big into that. 
but luckily for me, I kind of started early with this schedule. I started out, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna upload this tutorial video. I'm just going to get into that schedule. And then you guys kind of know what to expect. Like, honestly, a lot of people, I think, have actually been asking where the podcast is. And I, I really want, I really hope to bring it back. I really do. It's it's It just feels good. I remember the first podcast I ever recorded. I just, I, I did it. I had never done anything like it before. And it just felt so relieving, so, like... It just relieved stress, honestly, to say what I wanted to say, get it out there so people could hear it. Even if people weren't going to hear it, it still just feels good to say stuff. I think as humans, we love having someone to, to just let, just, just vent to. Just That's why we have vent in the Discord server. Just, if you guys don't know, basically before the server, it was me and Zero. We would literally text each other and just like ask each other like the deepest thought-provoking questions ever in the world. It was just so much fun to discuss these deep ideas with and now to see that basically move into our community, I think that a lot of people are finding fulfillment in in like talking, having these deep conversations, having these deep conversations. We, because the thing is, we've literally like experienced it all with our Discord server. Obviously, like people are having rough years. Like personally, like I've had like death, COVID, uh, depression, anxiety, like all these like hot topics, and we can discuss them in our server with one another. And usually, usually it goes pretty well. And the thing is, we're here to support each other, which, as I said, in 2021 is very rare to see. And I just love it. I love to see that we built that. It's awesome to see. But yeah, so I got my schedule built. And then I kind of just grinded that out. And once I got into that routine, it just became so natural to me. Like, I was like, all right, so I have physics during this time of the day. I can get that done online. And then I could just finish my video out for the rest of the day. And I look back on that, and I have absolutely no idea how I did that without getting, like, so so like depressed and like so just like the process of making a video is not fun and the idea that i did that every single day for 80 days over the summer basically it, it, it it's just astounding because i guess it just comes back to this one thing that i believe i think i believe this you get into life no you get out of life what you put into it so basically i had to have like this firm beginning if you want to start a youtube channel you basically have to grind like every single day because the truth is you have like nobody watching your videos it's difficult and you have to find a way to get people in. And honestly, I think the best way to do that is to be consistent, upload every single day, because then you have the best chance of making people stay and obviously hitting the search algorithm. So it was just, it was just, I had to get a firm start to my channel if I wanted to grow it, obviously. And I'm so happy looking back that I just put my head down and grinded through those first like 90 days and uploaded a video every single day because it absolutely paid off. And if you guys are looking to do the same, I feel like that's honestly the kind of commitment that you have to have if you want to start a channel. It's really, it's really just something... It's just a decision you have to make. Am I gonna am I gonna put this much time and invest this much into the YouTube channel? Because so many people start channels and then they, they just stop because you know videos aren't performing well, things aren't going good, but they're putting all this time all this time into the videos. I feel like that was me at, at one point, but the thing is I just kept going because I had listened to previous podcasts by people like the Smith Plays, and they basically told me just to keep going. So I kept going, and now today here we are one year later. And honestly, I don't think I could be happier. I feel like this is one of the best decisions that I've made in my entire life. Which again, I'm only 18, so I haven't made that many decisions. So maybe that's a cringe response, but I don't care. It's awesome. And we set our goals. We want 10K by the end of this year, which would be crazy. 10K people subscribed. And maybe like 25K two months after that. So 25K by February 12th, will we have 25K subscribers? I guess the main thing is, is am I going to be able to consistently upload content, like I just said, because that's how I'm going to grow the channel, which I'm trying to get back into right now. But priorities, you gotta, you've got to get your priorities done in life. Like, here's me, one year left of high school, literally like four months left of high school. I'm obviously going to prioritize that over the YouTube channel right now. It's not that like the YouTube channel doesn't mean anything to me. It means so much to me. It's actually become such a big part of my life, which is something else that I didn't know when I was going to start my channel, is how big of a part of my life it would be. I'm literally sitting at school on the Discord server. I go on the Discord like any time of the day. You guys are on there basically chatting. I could start a conversation. It's crazy how much time I've put into this community. And I don't regret it at all. It's honestly been a lot of fun. It's been it's been a personal growing ex experience to learn about. Like I've asked questions of people who have had many different experiences for me growing up in North Dakota. I'm just used to talking to the same people over and over. It's just a big echo chamber. Honestly, at the end of the day, a lot of people just live in echo chambers. But I've just heard I'm used to like agriculture life. I'm used to the people, the beliefs that they have around here. And like opening up and seeing what, what else there is out there in the world, all your guys' experiences have really just, it's been so interesting to discuss. And it's, it's better than anything me and Zero ever discussed, honestly, because 
our Discord server could literally just become a podcast in itself. If, if it was like text, text to speech, if you put text to speech on, our Discord server becomes a podcast basically every single night. And it's something that I look forward to. And I feel like a lot of other people could look forward to those, those deep discussions at night because another idea I've always had, I've always wanted to do a podcast at like 3 a.m. It might sound stupid. It might be very low energy, but I've always just like late night, late night talks. Sometimes that's when the best comes out of you. So maybe a 3 a.m. podcast coming in the future. Honestly, I need ideas. As always, I'm going to try to bring guests back on the show because I don't just want this to be solo. It's hard to come up with things to talk about. It's fun to bring people on, ask them about their experiences as I just talked about. Because the truth is there's a lot of diversity out there that I've been opened up to that I've seen as a result of this community of talking to people literally from around the world, like Singapore, like people from Singapore. Like that's crazy. Like people who join like a live stream and they're like, oh, it's morning for me when it's like 8 p.m. for me. So they're literally on the other side of the world. It's the Internet is an amazing place. It's a terrible place. But at the same time, it's just it holds so much power. It's crazy. But that's that. That's that's all that. And the thing is, moving on. I don't, I've always said this, I don't have like any plans of ever stopping making videos no matter what, even if the community dies. I started out doing YouTube for the fun, I'm going to continue doing YouTube because it's fun. And even if everything dies, I'll still probably upload a video like once every couple weeks or so, even if like we're just saying the whole channel's dead, everyone's left. Which again, I still fear it could become a possibility every single day, but I don't know, maybe I worry about things too much. I don't know, I just, I just think like, the community is just so solid that there's no way. That will ever break up. But then the other day I'm like, oh, well, we're having beef right now. We might all break up and it's a rip. But I'm I put in the work to grow the channel. And like just to see something crash and burn. Like if if the channel crashes and burns someday, I would just it would be it would be devastating. But because obviously the future goal with this is I kinda want I want to get monetized. I literally was eligible for monetization a long time ago, but I haven't even got monetized yet. But an eventual goal with the channel is to get monetized and have it be a, a source of revenue, a source of income. Which I could literally be doing right now, which I should probably get on that, but I don't know. I keep getting denied. But anyways, so there might be a like a learning curve here where it becomes just a hobby to actually like become like a business, which I have I'm not there yet, but if that ever happens, it'd be interesting to see how I change. Because I was listening to a podcast by the Smith Plays, and he said I think he said money just changes every YouTuber. Once money gets involved, it just changes everybody. And I'm wondering if that'll affect me, because I honestly have no clue. I feel like I'm just going to remain genuine. That's just my big, if, if I ever had like a big building and we had our, like our, what would you call it, our, our saying, our slogan up on the wall, it's just be genuine and don't be fake, because there's so much toxic, cringe, fake content out there on the internet. I'm not saying I won't be cringe at points. Like, I have a video idea that's going to be cringe coming up here. I already know, but you guys have been asking for it. Like, I know everyone's going to have their cringe moments, but just be genuine, all right? I just... I tell people how it is. I just tell them the truth. I don't be fake. And then honestly, my goal is to see how far this can take me with a YouTube channel. Because the truth is, usually the people who clickbait, the people who just do all that fake giveaway stuff, they're the ones who succeed. But I want to see how being genuine and just telling people like real giveaways, not clickbait, not all capitalization. I might have, I might, I'm not saying I might not, like I might have a title here and there with all capitalization, but for the most part, it's not just a bunch of clickbait. And I want to see if we can grow a genuine community here. And there's also going to become a point where I mean, this could become this could become something where there might be like too many people to manage. Like right now, we probably have like twenty-ish people who are like pretty active on the Discord server. Like that's a, that's a pretty good group to manage. But eventually, if the channel continues to grow, what happens if that grows to like two hundred people, three hundred people, five hundred people? And it's just it's it's another transition s stage that I'm gonna have to get used to because obviously I'm not gonna be able to like remember three hundred people's names. Whereas right now, I have like everybody in the Discord. Like I know like their names. I know. Basically, their political beliefs at this point, because that's how deep we get on the Discord server. We don't hold back. We go in. But that's also going to be another stage. And it's just going to be so interesting to see all these changes that, I, that we have to do with the channel and see how it goes. Because usually once once channels become more of a business, all the OG people don't like them because it's, they'll just be like, oh, we missed the OG, OG Smitty when he was talking to us every day. Which, like, if the channel became really busy and there were hundreds of people, would I be able to talk to you guys every day? Probably. I don't know. But, like, the thing I've never understood with big creators is why they don't, like, like people's comments. I feel like there might be, like, bots out there if you, if you like their comments and respond to people's comments. They can, like, hack you. But, nevertheless, if I was, like, a big YouTuber, I would spend, like, an hour a day if I made a video just reacting to, or re replying to people's comments, giving them likes. Because... Like, imagine if Mr. Beast responded to a comment. That's literally that's literally going to make somebody's day. And anything to make anybody's day better. Because that's that's honestly one of my ultimate goals. I just like using this ability I have to make this media, this this video, this live stream, this, 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 and that. And just try to make people's days better. And so far, it's honestly, it's been going great. Like, 
I'll open up Discord. Is there anything going on? Chat dead. Look at that. It literally says chat dead. Dang, that's kind of deep. So maybe, see, see, now I have this negative thought in my head like, oh, now the Discord channel is going to die. But no, it's fine. I just got to get over it. It'll be all right. We'll be good. Because again, we're just such a firm community. I think we're here to stay. But yeah, that's that. That's that's the history of the channel. We have our one year anniversary coming up. And that's basically all that. Again, we have no notes. So we're just kind of, I'm, I'm not really expecting this to be a good podcast. But like, it's been two months since I've done one. So you have to start somewhere. You know, you have to start somewhere. You have to get back into the rhythm of things. And I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping this becomes weekly. Like, I know there are a lot of people who want to come on the show. Like, we could have like a long list. And I could easily, easily get like, like 10 weeks lined up. But it's just something like, it's just tough. It's just tough to do. Let's see. I think I think I want to switch gears a lot. All right. I don't even know how far we are into this episode. How long have I been recording here? Uh, let me look. It looks like we're probably like we're probably like 30 minutes in, which honestly, I don't know if this is going to be an hour. This is just going to be like an update. I've probably repeated myself a million times. Maybe I haven't even been making sense. Who knows? But at the end of the day, it's, it's a podcast, so we're good. But yeah, that's all that info. So thank you guys so much for being active. I cannot thank you all enough. You guys have made you guys have made my life better, honestly, because like having somebody to talk to is just one of the great perks of being able to like run a discord server and stuff proud discord admin right here but it's just awesome and to be able to give you guys that ability too like i've always just i've always just wanted to be the platform for people to like like see themselves on youtube you know because like guys say like a lot i need to fix that but as i was saying like no youtuber ever puts their I mean, well, some YouTubers do, but for the most part, a lot of YouTubers just don't, like, appreciate their subscribers. Like, they do, but they don't at the same time. And I feel like I just need to make that clear how much I appreciate everyone who's ever subscribed to the channel or watched a video or is currently watching the podcast. I don't know if anyone is, but hey, I just need to appreciate that. So thank you. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed that, like, 30 minutes, even though I don't know how it went. We'll have to listen back to it eventually. What time is it? 8.20 p.m., and we got we to gotta get this up tonight. It's going to be a late drop, but hey, I'm sure the U.K. people are still up. It's... Should we talk about that? I want to self-improve myself, all right? I want to get sleep. Sleep is important. I want to sleep more because here's the deal. I go to basketball practice, get home at like, get home at like six, six-ish, yeah, six. And then I eat, you know, talk to the family, do all that. By then it's at least seven. And that gives me like, that gives me like how many hours to like work on a video, live stream, do whatever. And then I just... And then before I know it, it's like 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock p.m. And I'm just, my day's over. It's crazy. It's such a boring cycle, honestly, over and over. But the thing I want to do now is I want to, I've been staying up to like like 2 or 3 a.m., which to some people that might be pathetic. To the U.K. people, they stay up to like 5 or 6 a.m. in the morning. That's pathetic for them. But, again, I actually I actually have things to get to in the day. A lot of people just, they, they don't have anything to do. Like, they, they're, they're just staying at home still from COVID. But, like, I have a, I have teammates to that we got to win. I got schoolwork and stuff in person. It's just, it's interesting. I don't want to come up with excuses. That's another thing. As human beings, all right, we like to come up with excuses. And I, I'm not a big fan of that. Again, I'm trying to better myself. So I got to stop with the excuses. I got to go to bed earlier. When I say earlier, I'm thinking like midnight. Midnight is a, is a pretty good time to go to bed instead of like 2 a.m. 2 a.m. is too late because I've been finding myself, I wake up and I'm just like so tired. And it's just, it's just not the way to go. You got to get to bed at at least midnight, I'm thinking. Not come up with excuses. Ooh, spend time better, which is kind of kind of goes off of go to sleep earlier. Like I said earlier, there have been times where I could be like, I just want to spend my entire day being productive. Like obviously, entertainment has to be part of your day, but for the most part, like there will be times where I just I scroll TikTok for like a couple hours or something, and I just then I go on the Discord server again. I like talking to people on the Discord server, but sometimes it gets to be a bit much because I'll start editing a video like, "Ooh, people are gonna like this video," and then I get sidetracked with the Discord server before I know it. We're two hours into a discussion on the Discord server, which of course is good, but it's something that I kind of want to limit and just and I want to focus more on making content to you guys because I don't want it just to be live streams. I've always said this: the live streams do get kind of old. The live streams not everyone really likes. It's not the best. It's pretty good for unifying a community, but obviously the videos do even better, I'd say. Maybe not even better, but they're nice to throw in there. And at the end of the day, I just don't want the content to get stale because looking back on the last, like before I came back in like this last week, the content was just like, you guys might think the content's kind of stale, but I just felt like the content was so stale. It's just, just live streams, just like these short little decent videos i guess but nothing special nothing consistent it was literally like a video every week or two it was 
it just wasn't good. And the fact I know why our community is so strong is because we made it through that period. We made it through that time when I didn't upload at all for like a month. Was it like a month? I swear it was like a month. Because I was literally waiting for this PC right here, which is now here, Poggers. My PC hasn't, in fact, arrived. But to see a community survive through that is epic. And it comes back to my time management. I want to be able to start making videos almost every single day. And that's going to come down to time management. We're going to have to cut down that TikTok time. Maybe cut down on the Discord time. I've seen even some of you guys, like, I spend too much time on Discord, which I feel like we do as a community. You could go on any time of the day, basically, and somebody's saying something, which isn't a bad problem to have, have really. But it's just something I think all of us, all of us Gen Zers need to improve our time better. Like, at least sleep, people. At least sleep. Like, I, I talk to the UK people. It's 4 a.m. Why are you not sleeping? And they just tell me sleep is for the week, basically, which some might believe. But I think it's good to get that solid seven hours of sleep. Seven hours of sleep at least. That's what I'm going off right now. So I want to get more productive. I want to make videos more. And it's just going to come down to me time management, which time management is something that I'm good at, but I'm also terrible at. Like currently, just a quick example. What is it? 8.30 p.m. and I'm recording a podcast that I want to get up tonight. That's terrible time management. Why didn't I do this like a week ago? I think I actually had plans to do this a week ago, but I didn't get it done. And now here we are <laughs> on Monday. It's going to have to get up tonight. And we're, we're still recording, which is a rip. But it's where we're at, so we got to work with it. So procrastination is still one of my biggest weaknesses, which, like I said, I think back in like leadership class last year, we did a, was it a SWOT analysis? Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, something else. My One of my biggest weaknesses is obviously procrastination. I feel like that, that goes for a lot of people, especially when it comes to schoolwork. Because the thing is with schoolwork is no one's interested in schoolwork. No one cares about it. So obviously you're going to save it to the last minute because... School needs to be radically changed. I'm sorry, but like the way schools run, I'm just taught all this useless information that I don't care about. I'm just taught to memorize it for like two weeks and then forget about it right after I take the quiz. It needs to be changed. I don't know how, but I just feel like people need to be doing stuff that they're actually interested in, even in high school. I know that's kind of what college is, but yes, high school needs to be changed. It's, it's terrible. Up to junior high, I think I was good, but these last four years have just been such useless information. It's so stupid. And honestly, the American education system sucks because just just the, today I heard that the juniors at our school, the 11th graders, were learning how to use commas and periods, which is pretty embarrassing as an American. Our education system sucks. We're stupid. I think we rank a ways down in how smart countries are, but nevertheless, we're the best country ever. So we can, we can always flex that. But nevertheless, yeah, our generation has some serious problems and definitely social media, time management, sleeping, procrastination are some of those. And those lead to other things, but that's definitely part of that. So I want to self-improve. And I want to start, I want to grind this this goal I have right here, this YouTube channel. Can we get that 10K subs by the end of the year? It's not going to happen if we don't grind. Because again, you get out of life what you put into it. Are we going to put in the hours and grind the channel? Yes, we are. And now here we are. And yeah, because even like this last week shows it. This last week has been like, I think my best week on YouTube ever. Because we've gained like 100 subs. We've like all the numbers are skyrocketing, honestly. All this like statistical numbers. I've been checking them like every day just because it's exciting, okay? That feeling of... Just excitement when like when a video is kind of going viral. Like my video is not going viral, but it's just getting a lot more views than the average. Like, it's that tutorial video basically that's carrying my channel. It's it's gained twenty four thousand ish views in the last week, which is crazy for me. But like, imagine a world where twenty four thousand views for me is like the average number of views. That'd be so cool. And like five hundred likes. The fact that that's a possibility is really neat, honestly. And I I look forward to that. I hope we can do that someday. I have a good feeling about it. But at the same time, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. And that should be awesome. But yeah, I'm literally having like one of the best weeks ever on YouTube because because I came back. I decided to grind. I had a good idea for a tutorial video. Smittycraft, Lily, that's been awesome. We were, we're about a week into Smittycraft Season 3. We had like 30 people watching consistently on the last couple streams, which is high numbers for me. And honestly, I'll take that. That's awesome. We even had like 40-something on the first ever episode. Of course, we're going to have those trolls, those hackers. It's kind of hard to manage all that. But we get it under control. And Spinnycraft so far has been going smooth. The tutorial video, I came back, made one tutorial video, it blew up. Obviously, I'm hoping that happens with all the tutorial videos, but it's not guaranteed, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, tutorial video blew up, Spinnycraft's going good. Podcast is back, potentially. Well-edited videos. The one thing that's missing, we need the well-edited videos back. And like I said, one well-edited video a week seems like a very achievable goal. Because what do those take, like 10 to 15 hours? I should be able to find the time to do that throughout an entire week. But like, yeah, but you factor in like basketball, that could take up an entire night here and there. I probably have two to three basketball games a week. You factor in the live streams. I got to balance family time and stuff. I'm coming up with excuses. We can get one, we can get one well-edited video up a week at least. 
And like I said, it's just people love to be victims. We live in a generation where people are being taught to be victims. People love to have excuses. Stop having excuses. They do nothing good for you. Stop playing victim. Like some people don't have it as easy as others, obviously. But it just it's annoying to see. It. I mean, I don't want to be like arrogant and just forget about some people. Some people do have it very rough. But like for a lot of people, they could they could be doing a lot better. But they just play the victim card. It's annoying. It gets old. But it's 2021. That's that's what we do now, apparently. But yeah, for sure. Improve yourself. And also we have a culture that like tells people that improving yourself sometimes isn't good. Like, okay, I'm a pretty thin guy. I think people persuading me to like go hit the gym is a good thing. But like if I was a larger person, people apparently telling me to go lose weight is like offensive or something. I, don't, I, I really don't understand our generation. We are so confusing. It's kind of embarrassing, honestly. But like I see nothing wrong with self-improvement. But apparently this whole idea with our generation just... Oh, you're just beautiful the way you are. Which, like, okay, it's true. You're epic. But, like, you could always improve yourself, okay? I'm not here for, like, bullying people. But, like, just giving people that nudge to go hit the gym, go lose some weight, go gain some muscle. Like, I could, I should be gaining muscle, honestly. Which is one of those goals that I'm kind of... I think I think once I graduate, I'm eventually going to start... I feel like I'm eventually going to start lifting because it's just... It's something I've always needed to get into. Honestly, it just takes that little bit, that little, like, hour a day, hour, four days a week to just to get gains honestly I, I can't i don't have any experience I, like i have been lifting before i hate it so much but it's just one of the things that i want to grind out eventually in my life so i can actually get some muscle you know come on come on spin you got to be benching at least 225 by the end of the year that's not obtainable i can't do that but yeah our culture sucks people got to improve themselves don't procrastinate honestly all good messages i feel i feel like those are good messages i just came up with those no no memorable quotes yet so i haven't i haven't fulfilled that bucket list item but yeah and you'll get out of life what you put into it, I guess, because you get out of YouTube what you put into it. I'm a firm believer, those, you'll get what you deserve on YouTube. Like, if you grind it out every single day, eventually, I was listening, I think my little brother told me this streamer, Cypher or something, whatever his name is on Twitch, I think that's his name, maybe streams Fortnite, I don't know, For, is Fortnite finally dead, by the way? I think Fortnite's finally dead, which, thank you, thank you, Jesus, it's, it's, it's gone, Fortnite's gone, but... He said he, like, live-streamed to, like, one viewer for an entire year before his channel eventually blew up with Fortnite. Which, that's the mindset you gotta have. You gotta have, even if it's going rough, you gotta keep going. You gotta keep grinding. Even if I'm not getting any views with my channel, I'm gonna keep going. And who knows, maybe you'll get that one Minecraft tutorial video, that one live stream that just blows up, brings people to your channel. And overnight, you can become a big sensation. Like, I was watching uh, the Smith Plays podcast. He's got a new one. And they were talking about, like, YouTubers you would invest in if they were stocks. Mr. Beast. You would have to invest in Mr. Beast because he put in the work, he grinded, and look at how that how that turned out for him. He basically just cracked the algorithm. He figured out what the type of people, the type of content that people like, and now look at him. He's literally the biggest creator on the platform. Which when you think about the numbers that Mr. Beast has, like like 30, 40 million views a video, I can't even fathom that. Like think about his watch time first. Just think about that watch time, man, because I could go look at my watch time right now. And just to give you guys reference, this isn't like a where's oh no, do I know where my phone is? I could prop oh it's right here. Yeah, I threw it over here for some reason. But I can tell you guys my watch time right now. When my video, when my channel's blowing up. I'm calling this, my channel's literally blowing up right now for me. Because we've gained 100 subs in a week. For reference, that's that's blowing up, I think. But here's my watch time in the last hour on my channel. This is all basically from one video. But here's some stats. Views for the last two hours is 7,200, which is probably the most that's ever been. That's up 520% from the average. So 7,200 views in the last two days. That's insane. Watch time for the last 60 minutes. This is my watch time on my channel in the last hour of life right now. From 7.32 to 8.31, which is the current time. 283 minutes of watch time in the last hour. That is an insane number when you think about it. Now, obviously, if you're a big YouTuber, this number is going to be way higher, which is even crazier to think about. But 283 minutes, that's like, hey, Siri. Oh, the stupid Siri update. Hey, Siri. Wow. Oh, it's working on my computer but not my phone all right well 283 divided by 60 i can't do math i'm literally i'm literally in calculus but i don't want to do math right now because i'm going to mess it up 283 divided by 60 that's 4.72 hours 4.72 hours of my content consumed in the last hour alone which is mind-boggling like i can't even just think like that probably means that somebody out there in the world is watching one of my videos right now now obviously it's just gonna this is a rare occurrence this is the this is the, what would you, I don't know what you would call it, like the statistical anomaly where it's just that one video that's going to blow up. It's not going to happen every time. My channel is obviously going to settle back down, but it's just crazy to see. And it's just so rewarding to see a video blow up. And it's just so, that feeling of accomplishment is amazing. And I'm just so happy to see that the channel, 
the channel. It, it's honestly helped motivate me through this week because I see like new people come to the channel commenting. I've made it my goal to try to respond to basically every single comment ever left on my YouTube channel. Eventually, that goal is going to become unobtainable as well. But for right now, on the video that's blowing up, I've tried to like have good customer service. It's a tutorial video. People are asking questions. So I basically respond to all of them. I have hundreds of comments on that video responding to people because I, I want to be genuine with people. I'm here to literally help people. I don't I don't just I don't just make the video to get the quick dollar off them. Like I don't even make money, first of all, off YouTube. I make genuine content. I try to put as many console versions, I try to help people out as well as I can, as quickly as I can. And who knows, maybe once I get monetized, all that will change, but I don't think it will. I will forever stay genuine and true to you guys because it's just it's just poggers. And it's honestly worked out so well for me. Like I'm not I obviously don't have like millions of subs. But it's just worked out so well from a community standpoint and couldn't have had it went any better. We're coming up on our one year anniversary. Do I have any big plans for this one year anniversary of the channel? I'm going to see how long this episode's been going for. Give me a sec. Do I have any big plans for a one year anniversary? Um, let's see. Smitty one year anniversary. What are, what? I mean, obviously I'm probably gonna make a video probably just like, a, I always wanted to do a year review for 2020 and I never got to doing that. And I think it's been requested. I see some people saying a Fortnite montage on, on discord for recommendations so maybe we'll do that who knows but uh we'll see i'm definitely gonna make something for it 1.5k specials coming soon i have to do something for 1.5k subscribers which we're of course we're already at 1.6 which is that's that's crazy that's just insane to think about but yeah be genuine time management grind achieve don't play the victim card and you'll succeed like i've had my dad's always told me you gotta work hard for what you want in life and like I was talking to my basketball coach. He asked me because we're seniors now. So we have to give like advice to the younger kids. So I just went with the old, I feel like a lot of people are going to give the old traditional, um, treat every day. Like it's your last or whatever. It goes by so quick, you know? I mean, obviously that's still true. That's still very true, but that's just said every single day. So I went with the old second, second most cliche thing said, I went with the work hard and you'll get what you want in life. Basically is what I said. So that was my advice to the younger kids apparently. So that, that's me. And uh, I guess he asked for my favorite basketball moment, but you guys wouldn't really know about that. My favorite basketball moment, though, I said, all right, picture this. The score is like, I think it's like 99 to like, oh, what was the score? Maybe like, I think it was like 97 to 100. We're down, all right? Five seconds left in the game. Coming down the court, I get the ball. Five steps in from half court, pull up, hit a deep three-pointer, tie the game up in overtime. Well, yeah, in overtime to go to a double overtime. We ended up losing, but nevertheless, that was a really awesome moment. So yeah, I put that down. You guys probably didn't care, but... It's just something you got to say. So, yeah, we got, we honestly, the thing is I never know if I'm making any good points with these. I don't know if anyone's still listening. Probably not, but I don't really care because at the end of the day, two years from now, I know I'll be listening to this. I know I will be because I was, I was sitting in the tractor listening to the other ones like a few months ago. So, like I said, the podcast benefit me the most as opposed to all the other content, which, which is basically why I do it, honestly. And I know it's very overwhelming to do, but I want to try using it as a platform for you guys as well to speak on because I kind of have been doing that because as human beings, we just like that. We like having people hear what we want to say. We like, we like having influence. Maybe I don't know what I would say. No, we just like to have people hearing our thoughts and opinions. So that's this platform for you. The Spinify podcast we're going on. We're probably getting close to a year, a year strong on this. I wanted to do one every single week, but by the time this has been going for a year, we're probably going to be at like 20 something episodes which means that I failed that goal miserably. But who knows? Maybe someday I'll eventually get on that grind. I have a I have good feeling about the future of the channel, honestly. I really do. Because once I graduate from high school, it'll be an end of an era. Like, I'll be sad and all. But honestly, I think I'm ready to move on. If you guys don't know, I'm going to be I'm gonna be going to college this fall for uh, computer... Or no, graphic design and communications. I'm not going to tell you what school it is. Because I have this fear I'm going to say something stupid that people are going to... People aren't going to like them. They're going to dox me and tell my college. So I'm not telling anybody what college I'm going to, but I'm going there for computer science and communications. So like, or no, no, graphic design and communications. So like designing things graphically. Basically, it's this whole like technology creation, videos, advertisements. Just I've always been intrigued by this. I think I'm pretty decent at it. So it's something that I've always wanted, wanted to pursue. And it feels good to finally have a plan because... Getting to my senior year, I was always like nervous that I would get here and I wouldn't know what I want to do with my life. I feel like there might be some people out there that also have that feeling. But the thing is, you just got to find what you enjoy doing and you got to pursue it. It's that simple. Like a lot of my friends are going to other colleges that I'm not going to. You don't got to do it. You don't have to do what others want you to do. You don't have to pursue your friends. You got to pursue what you want to do and better yourself. And for me personally, that's going to a college that like none of my friends are going to. 
and uh, go into graphic design because, hey, that might be my calling. Who knows? Maybe I'll hate it, but you got to at least give it a try. So I just feel so good saying that I have a plan, you know? And to all those who are struggling to define your plan, you just got to figure out what you're interested in and you just got to do it. And hopefully you have that opportunity available for you. I don't know if everyone does, but I feel like if you work hard enough, you could probably you could probably find a way to pursue your dreams. So yeah. Yeah, that's epic. Uh, what does this say? So we're probably we're probably like 50 minutes into this, honestly, which is crazy. I am... I'm not the type of kid to sit down and just record a podcast for an hour, but it's definitely something outside of my comfort zone. I think it's good also to do things outside of your comfort zone. I know I sound like a teacher right now, but yeah, it's, it's definitely better to me as a person. Cause here's, here's one of the best things you can do. Honestly, you got to take a personality test lads. If you guys have never taken a personality test, which you probably have, you got to go ahead and do that. Cause I was, I was kind of like, I think it was maybe ninth grade when I took my first personality test, maybe 10th grade. I was kind of just treating it like a joke. Like, there's no way this will ever be accurate. These tests that I take that, like, recommend careers and stuff, they're never accurate. Let's see if this personality test one is accurate. And the results I got, it turns out I'm an INFJ. That's my personality type. It gives you, like, these four letters. I'm an INFJ. What does that stand for? Like, in, I don't know what INFJ stands for. But nevertheless, it gives you this description of what your personality type is like. And honestly, man... It just told me so much about myself. It just I've never been able to describe how I am until I took that personality type and it gave me the results and it just put into like perfect words how I am basically as a person. It was incredibly accurate. It was crazy. So I think if you want to figure out more about yourself, you should definitely take a personality type or a personality type quiz. It just asks you questions. Are you the life of the party? That's not me at all. That is absolutely not me. I'm not the life of the party. It's just questions like that. And it's it's awesome to see the results. So definitely do that. It's unlike these these zodiac signs that are supposed to tell your personality type. I'm I'm sick of these people talking about zodiac signs. I was sitting at my art class, and all these girls were talking about their zodiac signs and how important it is. I don't care about my zodiac sign. I'm never looking it up. If you guys don't know, I think it's I don't know the whole scoop on zodiac signs, but apparently it has something to do with your personality and like when you were born. I'm not looking mine up. I don't care. It's not accurate. It's just it's all it's it's stupid, and I hate how much people put into these zodiac signs it, it's dumb i'm done i'm done with that take a personality test much better much better in fact I think what's like the miles bridge or something what's what's the personality test type i'll look it up personality uh type quiz just go just go take it it'll take like 10 minutes 16 personalities is that the website we're talking about i think that might be the one yeah probably yeah, I don't remember what the quiz is called, but go to 16personalities.com. Take that test because it will describe you very well, honestly. It will describe you very well. And it, it really opened my eyes to see. It put me into good words. So I think I fit into my category very well. INFJ for life. I don't know what you guys are, but hey. Introvert. I-N. What's N stand for? I don't know. Introvert's all I got, which at the end of the day, we're probably all introverts. Again, Discord mods, we're introverts. But yeah, is that the podcast? Do I want to wrap this up? Do I have anything else to say? I want to improve as a person. It's been a fun road with the channel. I look forward to the future. I want to better myself. I have a career I have a career path finally. I have a plan finally getting set in stone, finally getting built. And it's such a good feeling, such a relief. And honestly, my happiness, like happiness rating 1 to 10, we're sitting at like a solid 8. We're sitting at, because 10 is obviously hard to achieve, but like... Sitting at probably like a solid eight right now. And yeah, hopefully that goes up or down. I don't know. I guess we'll have to figure out. I don't know if that's going to become a regular thing. One thing I should do on my podcast is like, not skits, one of, like little bits, like quizzes and stuff. I don't know. That's, you kind of have to do that with other people. Like trivia. That's like on the radio show, you hear the, the host doing trivia, but that's kind of like a multiple person thing. That's not really a solo podcast. And at the end of the day, I feel like this podcast is mainly built solo. But if you want to be a guest, of course, DM me and everyone's invited to come on, I guess, because I want to give you guys a platform to speak on and I don't really care what we talk about, but hey, stay genuine, everyone. Stay genuine. Work hard. You'll achieve what you want, basically. I worked hard. I, I'm i so happy with what this channel is, where it's going. I feel like we're strong. Who knows? Maybe next week the whole channel is going to be gone and this is the, the last video ever and I was completely wrong, but I'll never know. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's a bad thing. I don't know, but... Yeah, it's been a fun ride, lads. We're here for the long ride. I hope you guys are too. Appreciate the feedback, support on everything. It's been a lot of fun. And I don't know if this podcast was good, but I I think it was a solid start. Like I I tried to record this thing like five times. I also stuttered a lot through this. I repeated myself a lot. 
but you have to get back into the cycle of things because once you make things a habit, they become so much easier. Which when I think about like my weightlifting goal, I got to make that become a habit. Like throughout my whole high school career, my weightlifting during the summer, they've always given you like four or five days out of the week to go lift. And a lot of my friends just made it their habit. They just got used to waking up at like 7 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m. or whatever to go lift. And once you make something, once you make something a habit, it just doesn't become that hard to do anymore. So making a video, making videos needs to become a habit, which it probably will after I graduate. But yeah, for now we're gonna try to continue with this two live streams, one video, one podcast, one Minecraft tutorial video a week. It's a grind, but can I achieve that goal? It's achievable. Set realistic goals, lad. Don't don't set unrealistic goals. I think that could be realistic, but I don't know. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching Spinify Podcast, episode number 19. I'll see you guys back here next Monday, I guess. The thing is, I don't know, because my ba- I don't think I have a basketball game next Saturday, but I'm still going to do Smittycraft on Sunday, so it might be next Monday when the next Smittify Podcast is uploaded. Who knows? Again, DM me if you want to come on. You guys basically already have. A lot of people have. And I need to start. It's kind of on me now to get you guys in here. But, uh, yeah, thank you all so much for listening. It's been real. And until the next one, peace out, everyone. Stay strong. Let's get through the rest the rest of this year. I used to, I used to say that a lot in 2020. It's 2021. Congrats to everyone who made it to this year, by the way. But yeah, let's let's make let's make this year a vibe. Honestly, I know we're starting off low, but the only way to go from here is up. Thank you all so much for listening. Peace out. Have a great rest of your day. I thank you all so much. And until the next time, see you later, guys. Thank you. That'll take me 10 seconds to shut this off. Wait, there we go.